Scars are there to remind you the past was real, but that's just it, the past. Your past is your past. It is meant for you to learn the lesson, not meant for you to stick in it. I implore you as a man, no one is going to feel sorry for you. No one is going to, you got to get out there. Something happened back in the day. The person that did that to you back in the day have gone on. You can't be a prisoner to that. And even if you are, no one is going to accept it for a viable solution. You need to understand my message for you guys is this. You have to do more than just listen. You have to actually get in your wallet, actively engage. Yes, I am telling you, counseling, life coaches, these are the things you have to do in order to fix it. Again, you're not competent enough to run your own life. When I was down that low, I wasn't competent enough either. I reached out to other people for help, but I actually did work before I reached out. There's no shame in a downturn. And so many of you guys are living life ashamed of where you are. I'm behind at 35 years old. I should not be here. I should be there. Okay, the only shame is to continue to sit there and act like pouting about it or act like it's going to change because you feel bad. No. I tell you, you need to get another job and I tell you, go work at a convenience store, but you got too much pride to go do that. Any honest day's work for an honest wage, you know why you don't want to go there? Because you don't want somebody to see you there. That's a goddamn problem. You ain't there yet. If you worry about where somebody was, I didn't care if somebody saw me. Somebody saw me doing that stuff. I'm like, you're damn right. I'm here and I'm making money. I have people who saw me when I, after, after my divorce and everything, waiting tables. That was a skill I had acquired. I'm like, yeah, what you don't realize, I'm making $100 a day, making more than I was making over here. And yeah, I'm having to bring you your bread and everything else, but I'm getting money. And then six months later, they're like, how are you driving around a BMW? Because everything I had was a plan. All those menial jobs, part of a plan. I went to work with the greatest attitude because I knew I wasn't going to be there long because it was part of a plan. People run into me, man, I remember you was a waiter at so-and-so, and now you, it's part of a plan. Winning in power, your mindset, and I got there because I've had help along the way. I've had coaches along the way. I've had life coaches. I've had therapy. I've had all these things. I've had to, I spent thousands of dollars. I didn't do my own style. I didn't do my own image console. I went to a professional. If I can, so can you. Guys, you know, when I said that thing about going out and not having money, I tell you, dude, that's a horrible feeling to know you ain't got but $20 and the club costs 10 to get in. You got $10 to drink and to eat afterwards. So you buying what? One drink and then trying to go to get a taco or something afterwards? But then the party is going and you see a chick, you can't do anything. Money gives you options and you feel some kind of way. The entire time you're there, you're not enjoying it because you're like, damn, man, they, they over here living it up and I'm behind. And any of you got good friends, they may say, man, I got the drinks, I got the round, but there's something inside of you as a man. It's like, I'm tired of motherfuckers having to pay for my round. I'm tired of this shit, man. Because you don't, you don't like it. you like, that's, that's your manhood fucking with you. Manhood is telling you, no, man, you need to pay your own way. That's a positive sign. Here's the thing. Understand, make that the last, make the next time the last time. To where you ain't got to do it again. To where somebody say, oh man, I got your drink. No, I'm good. Or even better, when this happens, when this happens, when you actually start working and getting that shit ready and you go out with your friends and you say, first round's on me. Everybody be like, what? You bullshit. No, nah, no, nah, nah, you didn't. First round's on me. Man, okay, what? Then get whatever you want. First round's on me. Oh, snap. <laughs> that respect level that comes from your boys because they may clown you a bit but they really saying is dude finally got his shit together that's my dog right there man, the, the subtle glances men make to other men when we affirm each other's manhood men decide who are men men decide not women men 
And the women sit around and look at men affirming other men, and that's when you become more of select and on your way to pre-select. 18, you got a lot of runway left. One of the best things you can do is start surrounding yourself with people who are thinking like the person you want to be. Um, you know, when I hear young men call themselves losers, I'm always like, dude, you got a long way before you're a loser. Yeah, when I hear young guys call themselves losers, I understand the sentiment, but understand, you got a lot of runway. Use the time when you're living at home, recalibrating to really stack aside some cash. You want, you know, several months of money to where you don't have to make dumb decisions for money. Um, and whether you decide to go back to school or whether you decide to get into the work environment, just make sure you are working, 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 and staying around like-minded guys. The main thing you need to focus on is not getting a chick pregnant before 35 years old and outside of a committed relationship. As long as you remain no kids, you got a lot of options. Obviously, you know, we're talking about a legal thing, but every man gets tired because life comes in cycles. And because we as men lack men to wave us on down the path of life, we don't know where we're at. We don't know if we're good or bad or above or below. We just don't know. And because it's impolitic for men to admit they don't know something, most guys are just shamed into shutting up and shutting down. And all that makes you is some a battery for somebody else to use. And I got no problem with society needing men to do what we do, but I want you to enjoy your life. It's yours. It's only one. And whether it's Popeyes with uh, two-piece Tuesdays, whether it's fried fish or whether it's lobster, I, I want it to be yours. You decide to get married, uh, have kids, I want your, your family to revolve and thrive as, as you at the head, not you as a beast of burden. I want men to sit around and get their accolades when they're in the ground. We need to start giving brothers their awards, men their awards today. Men need to start giving those things to each other. I'm encouraged because, like I said, I've seen younger brothers, I've seen older brothers, I've seen brothers in the mix of it. And we got something going around here that has never happened before in the history of human communication. Men can actually congregate in like-minded spaces and emboldened and fill up and prop up and stand up and demand more and expect men to not only patch you up but get you back out there not just to be in it but to win to a year from now five years from now ten years from now i mean like i remember when i saw this cat in that space and now look he's doing big things i remember when i was here and now i'm there and you can actually do it for yourself and then do it for somebody else i said before and i said again when men are the best version of themselves, the world is a better place. Start with making your world the better place. So where even if you are eating a hungry man or a Swanson's dinner, it's because you want to eat. If you're watching TV, you got a smile on your face because you choose to be where you are. No longer a victim of circumstance. You are where you are because this is where you want to be. You are the captain of your soul. You are the master of your fate. Gentlemen, it is up to you. Your circumstance, your situation, your past, your, your pedigree, your history is all that. It's in the past. You choose to bring all that forward. You can also choose to not. Just bring forward the lesson.